Right. Um, I just want to run through very quickly, 10 minutes or so, the vision about purpose of education. This is something that Andy and I have been working on and something which is inspired by a person who you'll meet in this presentation and we're going to hear from in kind of five minutes after this. But the main thing from that is you do not need to ask for permission. You can use our logging, do whatever you want and basically just do something, just get out there and do some stuff. We will help you as much as we possibly can. But you don't need to say, oh, Doug and Andy, can we do this? Can we run this event? Can we run this campaign? Just get out there and do it. If you want to walk out that door now, if you want to just go and do some stuff, just go and do it. That's what it's all about. It's about providing that platform. So, so this woman here, now this doesn't look like much. This is a Luminate session, an online meeting, which was at the JISC online conference in kind of October, November 2010. Now this doesn't look like much, but as you'll know, sometimes the most meaningful and most profound things you ever come across look very prosaic and boring. Now this session here really changed, I would say, Andy and I's lives in terms of the things that she said during that session, in terms of the future of education, where we're headed and where we could be headed as well. So in that session, she went through some of the things which are in her book called Learning Futures. And if you haven't read that, it's on the Kindle store. It'll probably down, downstairs in Blackwell's bookshop as well. Go and get yourself a copy, especially about how school should be by the time we get to kind of 2035. <coughs> Wonderful, fantastic stuff. So just a bit of background. Andy and I work at Northumbria University for an organization called JISC Infinite, <coughs> who have nothing to do with purpose um, at all. Uh, they are very supportive, but they, they have nothing to do with what we're doing today. So we're based at Northumber University. Um, and quite often we go to this place here, which is a wonderful little pizza place in the Granger Market. And uh, it takes us about a quarter of an hour to walk there, a quarter of an hour to walk back, eating our pizza. And often we'll talk about all such things, you know, the, one, the life, the world, and everything. And it was after Kerry Fraser's sessions during that just conference that we started talking about, well, really, we need to do something. We can't just sit in our office and do nothing. So we decided to do something. Um, and we thought, well, what we need to do is we need to change people from just taking one view of education um, and, and not disagreeing and not, you know, kind of debating things and going to do something and disagreeing and debating and discussing these things. You can't just have one person telling you what the purpose of education is all the time. So a really important point that I need to stress from the start is the purpose is not anti-Michael Gove. It's not pro-Michael Gove, it's not anti-Michael Gove, it has no kind of view or kind of opinion on Michael Gove's policies. There are people in this room who do, um, Andy and I as individuals might have, but really purpose is a platform for debate. It's about widening participation and it's about widening space. So Andy and I really had this vision of, of kind of people taking off, using this, this widening space to take off and talk about what the purpose of education is. People doing little projects and campaigns and that type of thing. So that's what we're trying to get across today at this first kind of physical meeting. This is the sage in, in Newcastle Gateshead. They call it Newcastle Gateshead because Gateshead isn't as nice as Newcastle. Um, and Gateshead tries to kind of use some of Newcastle's. Oh, Chris is going to hit me after this. <laughs> Chris is going to hit me after this. This is the sage in Gateshead, a wonderful place um, in the northeast of England. Um, it's a fantastic building. If you've never been, it's got wonderful, wonderful facilities, including an auditorium which has even better sound reproduction than here. It's got this like, kind of seashell cocoon thing. And Andy saw this, we see this, well, we see this almost every day, and we thought, wouldn't it be wonderful to have an event in there, and it holds 1,500 people, and we thought, I know, this is February, I know, we'll hold an event in July for 1,500 people. And we thought, well, what we'll do is at that event with 1,500 people, we'll start this revolution, this kind of global revolution about the purpose of education, it'll be fantastic and wonderful. And we met up in a little pub with this guy called Herb Kim. Herb Kim runs lots of conferences, including the Thinking Digital Conference next month, in the Sage, and he is like uber connected and networked and knows loads of stuff. Um, and he basically said, it's not going to happen because you, nobody knows who you are, there's no way you can get 1,500 people in that short amount of time, you're completely insane. But the best of luck anyway. <laughs> so what he suggested and said, which is what we've done, is he suggested that there's going to be another general election 2014 or beforehand. What you need to do is to build things up gradually and slowly and start from a small number of people here today and grow things organically and slowly and move towards 2014 and you also get a lot more committed people so that's what we're doing thank you very much Herb so in 2014 or before we would like to book out the SAGE in, in Newcastle Gateshead and we thought well actually it could be bigger than that why not multiple venues why not big multiple venues and why not on the same day to really send a powerful message about people are debating the purpose of education and really it's not just about the government telling us what we should do or not do 
So that's what we'd like to do. And then we kind of like, would like to move beyond that and think about, well, worldwide, what can we do there as well? And some of you might say we've got a Spanish language version of Purpose, which I'll talk about in a moment, and we're looking for kind of Portuguese and German and everything like that <coughs> as well. So it's kind of a growing, burgeoning movement, I would say. How do we start? Well, we started by setting up a Twitter account, as all good movements do these days, and we had a very basic website, which we've still got because we think it serves the purpose. So this is our, this is our Twitter stream, um, which I think most of you will follow. Um, otherwise you won't be here today. Over 1,200 followers in, in 12 weeks. It's not about numbers, it's about quality of engagement, but it does show that there's a latent demand there, I would say. Um, unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on your, uh, your point of view, um, we do share the hashtag, purposed, with um, uh, an evangelical church in America who sends out tweets like this, saying things like, um, God morning, everyone, time to make the donuts, which is fantastic. Uh, and it kind of certainly mixes up my day anyway every morning. It's wonderful to see those coming on stream. So do look out for those today and other days. So this is our website. And we thought, first of all, well, it would be wonderful to get people's um, views about what they believe the purpose of education to be. And instead of having everything on our site, why not kind of distribute things around the internet? So we've got 500 words. And we put a Google Doc and said, right, we'll have uh, two weeks of people telling us what the purpose of education is. It went so quickly that after two months, we had to say, whoa, that's enough. No more. Thank you very much. Otherwise, we're going to be doing this forever. So we had 500 words, and we had two months' worth of every single day having a new 500-word contribution to the campaign. The most recent one, which Josie finished off first today, thank you very much, Josie. I did, I did the screenshot yesterday, so yours isn't on there, um, is 3 by 5 like a postcard kind of thing. People taking quotations from the 500 words campaign uh, and putting, mashing them up with an image, so people like Lisa and all sorts of people have done that. And thank you very much for doing that. Um, you might have seen them when he came in before. Um, and Andy has done a fantastic job. Andy describes himself as a bit of a bass player. Well, he is a bass player. And he's done such wonderful stuff behind the scenes that people don't see, like organising stuff for today and like curating all these delicious links and doing stuff that I'm too lazy to do. So thank you very much, um, Andy, for doing that. Um, and the last thing to mention, really, is that a couple of weeks ago, we, we wanted to have like a precursor to this event, and we, we went into the Newcastle City Library. And I think they thought we were just going to kind of sit in the corner nicely, and we kind of just roamed all over the library with Nick Dennis, who came to help us. And we just kind of cornered people and grabbed them and said, what's the purpose of education in no less more than 20 words? And that type of thing. Uh, we got some fantastic responses. So um, this is kind of awkward teenage girls telling us what the purpose of education is. Okay. Hi, this is uh, Andy Stewart, and I'm here with... Sarah Chazari and Gemma Smith. And we're just debating what the purpose of education is. So if we could start off, what, what would you think the purpose of education is? Um, just to get better in life and just to accomplish more. Yeah? Um, you get a better job and earn more money and meet lots of different people in the gym. So very much about like socialising and that yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. Do you have any other thoughts on how, you, how your sort of education has been so far? Um, What's been good or bad? But I think it's a little bit disadvantaged compared to like private schools where like they obviously get taught better. But it's quite good. Cool. Any thoughts? Um, it's been good. I just think it's really fun. What do you think the the best bit about your education is so far? And maybe it's the worst. And uh, the worst part is revising your exams. <laughs> but the best part is probably just meeting new people and just learning stuff because it's quite interesting. Cool. Yeah, and um, lots of like, different opportunities, like going to Poland because that was nice. Travelling the world. Yeah. Excellent. Thanks very much for your contribution. Buchan, he wanted to finish off there. Um, so as you could see from that, people have, people want to talk about the purpose of education, you know, nobody really said, oh, oh no, I don't want to talk about that. Everybody had a view, but when they came to actually expand their view, they did, couldn't really say anything apart from, oh yeah, schools are good and they help you get a job at the end of it. And really that's what we're trying to do, trying to get people to verbalise, well, what is it about education which is so important, what are we trying to do here? So you can see from here that we've had moderate success, it's not about Andy and I, it's about all you guys and the wider network that we're streaming things out to today. It's about engaging people and developing people and getting people together to, to do some type of social change. So I've already mentioned um, Purpose to ES. We've got some very, very enthusiastic people in Spain who Skype me and um, send me messages and stuff all of the time. Um, and they're running separate campaigns and doing everything in Spanish language. So if you do speak Spanish, that's awesome and you can go and do that. For the rest of us, there's Google Translate. Um, so what I'd like to finish with today, before I hand over to Josian, 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, is to question everything, even those, ass those assumptions that you've got, those things that you've held dear for 40 or 20 or 5 or however many years you've been alive, um, just question all of those beliefs and think, well, what is the purpose of education? Have your mind, up, mind open today, talk to people, discuss, debate, and don't stab people, although we do have police outside. Thank you very much. <laughs>